Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allemteni ve allimni bima yunfa'ni ve zidni ilmen inneke l'alimun hakim. My topic today is about babillary necrosis. I will represent the case of babillary necrosis due to analgesic cause and add I will mention the other causes during the presentation. Here we have a selected image from IVU, five millimeter, five minute post contrast, showing the kidney outlines are well defined and we see contrast excreted from both kidneys satisfactory. And the pathology of this patient here, we see irregular calysis with contrast tracking out from the furnaces, especially on, from the left side and the upper and middle calyces calicial group and to lesser extent on the lower calicial group and also on the right lower calicial group. Giving the appearance egg in cup appearance and here we see some blunting of the this calyx and another blunting of the this this calyx. Here it is a magnified view, and we see the what we described in the previous image, egg in cup appearance, and we see the contrast tracking from the furnaces as we see here, here, and there. As we said, we this caused by analgesia, analgesic use, and uh, this is the cause of this babillary necrosis in this patient. What are the other causes of babillary necrosis? We have Mnemonics, it is post -card. and B, it is a stand for bilonephritis, O for obstruction, S for sickle cell anemia, T for TB, C for cirrhosis, A, analgesic abuse, and R for renal vein thrombosis, and D for diabetes mellitus, and S for systemic vasculitis. So, hoping we finish our case and hoping to see you in another talk.